Genghis Khan was born in this beautiful country that is filled with steppe, forests, mountains and rivers. Tourists who wish to see the history and legend of Genghis Khan, who invaded and commanded half of the world, can start their journey from the Henti province, the northeastern Mongolian steppe region of Mongolia. The mountain of Hanhenti, Dilumboltag and its near territories are closely related with the life and history of Great Han. From the beginning of the 20th century, the study of Genghis was accelerated. However, monuments and celebrations were built and organized for his honor. Due to the fact that he was not suitable with socialist concept, it was prohibited. Consequently, Mongolian communists criticized Genghis and conducted manipulations that lead people to hate him. But as Mongolia became a democratic country, Genghis Khan became back as the proud leader of Mongolians. The native country of Genghis Khan was a secret for a long period of history and in some way it was a traditional secret. It is said that Genghis Khan was buried in a very secret tomb in a certain part of the sacred and wild territory. To this day, international teams are still studying and searching its ancient secrets. Legend became alive again. Nowadays, many tourists visit to see the historical country of Genghis Khan. In this country, Genghis Khan was born, first walked, and spent his childhood playing on the ice of Onan River and playing with arrows. Starting from this land, he united the divided nomadic tribes of Mongolia and led half of the world, which makes this place such a strong part of the world's history. Today, the nationalism of Mongolians is prospering and it could be said that the symbol of our country's freedom is the history and the way of Genghis Khan. The birthday of Genghis Khan is celebrated annually and in some years, the government performs rituals in sacred mountains which he prayed for. After studying the effect of Genghis Khan's invasion, some European countries nominated him as the Man of the Millennium, which was pleasing news for Mongolians. For Mongolians, Genghis Khan was a great leader and the Man of the Millennium. Nomad's territory was the center of the great empire of one era.